body language. We all use it, but are we really aware of how others are interpreting the way that we move? This video is going to take you through a few key details. When considering your body language, it is important to remember that this form of communication can be either positive or negative. The way you use body language will really vary depending upon the situation, the environment, or maybe even the topic being discussed. You will find that you use body language when verbally communicating with others as a way to reinforce the message you need to communicate. For example, this could be the way that you stand, your posture, the gestures that we make, or the facial expressions projected. It's really important to remember that body language of both the speaker and the listener will be affected by the outcome of your message. Let's look at these messages of communication in a little bit more detail. Let's start with gestures. Pointing. We've all seen people pointing at others or maybe at objects when they're trying to communicate a message. But this can actually be seen as quite aggressive or even accusing in certain situations. How about that meeting where someone's there drumming their fingers on the table? This can actually be seen as a real lack of interest or even impatience. Moving on to facial expressions. Smiling. We all know if we see someone who's welcoming and approachable, they generally have a big smile on their face. How about frowning? It might be that if someone sees you frowning, they think that you're deep in thought or really busy and they'll try their best actually not to disturb you. Raised eyebrows could mean that you're surprised or maybe unconvinced. Again, depending on the situation, that might not be the best method to use. Here we have eye contact. Staring. Now this can make people feel really uneasy. But on the flip side, making no eye contact at all can actually come across as quite untrustworthy and unreliable. A good balance between them is the perfect combination so make that eye contact with frequent breaks, which will help to really enable trust and eliminate any awkwardness. Being aware of your body language will ensure your message is received and clearly understood. A good way to ensure your communication is always portrayed in the correct way is to obtain feedback from those around you. So be sure to ask your colleagues, manager, or even your customers to identify whether you have any habits that they feel you need to change.